you're green. I oh, am. Yeah. Cynthia Revo and Ariana Grande are the latest Elphaba and Glinda in Wicked the Movie, following in the bubbles and on the broomsticks of many before them. It feels uh, really, really special that we get to be the conduits of this next version, and hopefully we have a little bit of a continuation of this legacy. I mean, we feel so grateful. There are so many brilliant Galindas and Elphabas who have been so kind to us, Kristen and Adina leading the way. Mm -hmm. And it just feels very surreal to have that trust. And also now the fans who are getting to see it. Oh, I'm hearing her in my ear. I'm going, stamp on it. Your stamp on it. Hi, my stamp on it. Hi. I love you. Hi. But they've but just been so beautiful with us, yeah. and we're very trading. grateful. Yeah. Yes. The original Glinda on Broadway herself, Kristen Chenoweth, said she could never have imagined a movie musical adaptation in her lifetime. No, I thought I'd be dead. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm alive. This little idea where a friend of mine told me that she was reading this book, and I thought like, oh, that would be a good musical, and then how it's become this gigantic worldwide cultural event. It's really, really mine, but I, I really have still not wrapped my head around all of this yet. John M. Chu, the man behind the curtain, is overseeing all as director. Wizard of Oz has always been about the American dream. It was always uh, it was written at a time of American transition. The movie came out during an American transition, and Wicked was written during 2002 uh, when we're, we're coming out of 9-11. And so I think the idea of, of, of looking at the storyteller, looking at the stories that were, who, what does a villain look like? What does a hero look like? Who are we asking to be, uh, to, to prove ourselves to? And what are we supposed to be in order to be accepted? Those questions as I, we get older and as, as America is going through this time of finding our identity as well uh, are, are all really relevant. I think I love the ways in which this movie forces people to look in the mirror and question whether or not they're being an empathetic person or not and whether or not they're leading with love as much as they possibly could. You know, we see differences in this day and age and people are so polarized and so judgmental and so um, there's so much darkness out there and I think this movie kind of makes you want to ask that question, am I leading with enough empathy? I think one of the things that I particularly love is the encouragement to be your full self and that if you're feeling different, if you feel like you're the odd one out, if you feel like you don't belong, that those things make you special and that it takes some time to grow into and it takes some time to get the courage to be that but once you do, anything is possible. I think that the biggest thing that I that I take away from it is that the things that make us different can also bring us together and we don't need to be looking for that common enemy. Um, I think it hits really hard every time that I see it and I, I hope audiences see that and more. But we couldn't let the cast go without asking them about part two coming out next year. Part two, um, really good. I mean, it's gosh, what can I tell you without spoiling it? Even though you can watch the show, but um, the set pieces, if you think the set pieces in this movie are grand and spectacular, you ain't seen nothing yet. It's wild, truly. Well, without getting myself in trouble, um, there's more magic to come. I'm gonna leave it at that before I yap too much. Just wait, just wait. <laughs>